Chevy's like a super-powered ZR1 Corvette? Eh. We have fresh facts about the 2015 Audi TT. A new Mybox sedan is on the way. All rappers can rejoice. And Mini releases a concept John Cooper Works variant. Plus, we have your FLD question of the day. What's up, everybody? I am Derek T, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily's 1,776th episode. It's our own personal FLD Independence Day, AK. I like that, Derek T. Right? 1776. America! America. <laughs> <laughs> Mini just revealed the restyled Cooper when we were in LA and already a new John Cooper Works concept showed up in Detroit, which previews a production model coming later this year. Now I use the word concept very lightly because this concept is pretty much exactly what the real hatch will look like when it's revealed at Geneva in March. We have no power confirmation, but expect a turbocharged two liter four cylinder making 217 horsepower. Also expected, the scared mini face to come standard. You know, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It still has that. Now for the none of us can afford this FLD story. Maybach, or as rappers call it, Maybach, died a slow and painful death, kind of like Positive K's career. Remember? I got a man. What your man got to do with me? Old school song. Anyway, <laughs> Mercedes is ready to bring new life to the brand, potentially as a sub brand, kind of like AMG. The first new Mercedes Maybach will show up in Geneva using a long wheelbase Mercedes S-Class. The super luxurious sedan will rival cars from Rolls-Royce and Bentley at a starting price between $225,000 and $300,000. Just accept uh, basically every awesome feature from the new S-Class and maybe a few extra. Maybe even some, uh, you know, unicorn taint interior. Who knows? Because that's expensive stuff. It's tough to find. A couple more details are rolling in about the new 2015 Audi TT. As we said before, it's going to debut at the Geneva Motor Show in March, and styling cues will be taken from the all-road shooting brake concept that was in Detroit. But here are some engine options. They include a 1.8-liter TFSI and a 2-liter TFSI, making three different flavors of output. <clears throat> you got 180 horsepower for the people who are like, eh, I'm just more into the look of the car. Who really cares about the engine, really? 220 horsepower for the people who are like, hey, I want some jelly on my toast, but I'm not paying too much for it, if you know what I mean. And finally, 300 horsepower for people who are like, I like the look, but I also like the power. Plus, I want to be able to impress some chicks in my TT with nice TTs. Hey. Hey. All right. <laughs> That's the three different versions. Yes. Right there. Now, whether you're a Corvette fan or not, you have to admit, you got to admit, right? The new Corvette Z06 looks friggin' sharp, and it's ludicrous 625 horsepower and 635 pound-feet of what, Erica? Torque. Will melt your face off. I mean, kind of like an Indiana Jones. Yes. You know, when the guy gets his face off. All right. Those supercharged horses are only a hair off the current ZR1's 640 horsepower. So you might imagine Chevy is preparing a new Corvette ZR1 to take the power game to a whole new level, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Wrong. What? Yeah. According to GM officials, no ZR1 plan is on the docket. Some of you might take that news as sad, but let me just break it down for you. The new Z06 will most definitely outperform the current ZR1 on the road and on the track, so that being said, it should be plenty to keep Corvette fans happy. And if it does, well, if it doesn't, well, you're just greedy and gluttonous. Let some other people have some horsepower, right? Come on, ZR1, spread, spread around the horsepower love. So no ZR1. That's basically what I'm saying in that story. Yeah. Now it is time for your FLD question of the day. And this one is a doozy. A lot going on here, all right? First off, let me start by saying, when you make a video, shoot it in landscape mode, not portrait, all right? Come on. You gotta know that. Basic principles when you're shooting something. All right, it comes from FLD fan Alan Zhu, or Alan Shu. Let's see what he has to say. D-A-K, uh, FLD. Um, sorry for the messy hair, but. Whoa, 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 stop right there. First off, Alan, your hair looks cool. It looks cool to me, man, no worries. But you have this weird like stabilization thing going on with your camera and it's warping your head. Either that or you are a great dancer. 
<laughs> and I see you have a buddy in the back there with his hat half on. Anyway, go on uh, with your question of the day, Alan. My FLD question of the day is... Why do middle... Whoa, 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 hold it again right there. You just said my FLD question of the day is... Then you show this dude in the back, which means it's the kid with the hat half on his head's question, not yours. Anyway, uh, take it away, half hat. Why do middle-aged Asian women love ugly, tacky SUVs such as this one or the BMW X5 mm. so much? Ah, okay, so uh, here's what you asked. Why do middle-aged Asian women love ugly, tacky SUVs like that GLK in the video or BMW X5 so much? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's an interesting question, half hat. Listen. I don't think it's a racial thing. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're Asian, Italian, African, Canadian, Peruvian, New Jerseyan. You buy a car because you like it or you want that particular car for whatever personal reason. Do you have, uh, what about Alan? You got anything to add to this? Wait, I, mean, I was thinking about this. No, no, not you, Alan. I'm so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Alan in the video, my bad. Alan in the video, anything? The Go problem ahead. is I'm trying to figure out is not the people who drive them, but why did they buy them? Because like a normal sedan, mm -hmm. it has five seats. It's just a bit chunkier and a bit uglier. Ah, okay. All right. Well, all right. You're on the right track. So not the people who drive them, but why do they buy them? Well, Alan, you may uh, live in an affluent area where one housewife buys a Mercedes GLK, so the others follow suit. Some switching it up a little bit, maybe a BMW or something, to be different. A lot of SUVs now do come with that extra row, but I see what you're saying. Okay, let, let, let me see your street, though. This is my street right here. It's full of okay. damn SUVs, so... BC Canada. Yeah, please um, answer my question, FOD. Peace. Ah, uh, all right, well, no need to be saying damn, okay? You look a little young to me. And uh, I'm not sure why you got this in your ear, but I'll join the party. I'll join <laughs> the party with you. All right, you don't, need, you don't need to say damn SUVs. You can't be that angry. And uh, I love how Half Hat comes in like a rapper and says, BC Canada, in the back. BC Canada. Yeah, right. BC Ca British Columbia, Canada, where you are from. Now, uh, Alan, I don't know if I answered your question or Half Hat's question, but thanks for the video. Peace. Peace. Right? Yeah. Because he said it. All right, let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and send in your own. All right, to tips at FastLaneDaily.com. We appreciate it. That was an interesting video, yeah. you know, but you know, we, uh, we love our fans, so we want to use them all. All right, just next time, landscape mode, okay? Remember, landscape mode, keep it to 15, 20 seconds. Well, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Peace. Right, Alan? Peace. I don't mean. No, no. <laughs> uh, the other one. No, you can. Okay. Give one. Throw it out. Peace. 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 Take me to another land. Take me to another land. Wait, no, that's... That's a total different song. <laughs> what was the other one? Pos oh, no, Positive K is a, I got a man. What you man got to do with me? I got a man. I'm not trying to hear that. See, do you know, interesting fact, he's the vocals on that, but he also does the female vocals on that oh, wow. song? Yeah. Great. Like, I got a man. What you man got to do with me?